What is going on guys? Pedro here with another video. I am super excited. Today is Tuesday and I've got this awesome trade I want to show you guys. Um, so make sure you watch till the end of this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You got it, dude. <laughs> My name is Pedro and I do Forex trading. So make sure you watch till the end and welcome to the family. Let's get started with this video. All right, guys, what's going on? Pedro here. And the pair that we're looking at today is USDJPY. I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to profit um, over $118 on my smaller account. And um, yeah, I want to show you guys basically step by step on how I was viewing the market and what I was looking for. All right, all right. What's going on, guys? It's eight in the morning. Um, and this is our USD JPY. I wanted to show you on my phone uh, what I'm looking at. And um, yeah, like basically what I was expecting, guys, like what I told you, um, you know, this is kind of like uh, the right sh shoulder. It's kind of hard to see on the phone, but this is the head and shoulder pattern that we were talking about in our last video. And so um, we can clearly see how structure uh, you know, didn't, you know, continue, didn't respect the upwards trend, it broke, and then what I was telling you guys, I was expecting a clean um, push to the downside, so I was expecting price to pull back, you know, kind of touch uh, the key level over here, right, and, um, and then go completely down, right, so um, this was definitely what I was expecting, guys, and as you can see, it's happening, um, as you can see, let's go over here. Um, and obviously you can see this is my my one smaller account, but I'm up $73 in profit. I was actually up a little bit more, but I took a gold trade and uh, knocked me out at $72. So technically for the day, I'm, I'm, I'm up a lot actually. Um, I'm up like 130, 140 for the day on this trade but i wanted to show you guys something live so as you can see this is live this is one of my smaller accounts on hugo's way and so yeah guys like this is this is literally a good example of market structure and basically what i teach you guys right how to make money um in the markets i mean come on okay so i'm gonna show you really quickly here guys so as you can see um if we go over to the four hour uh we know that the direction of the market and you can see my previous videos that i've done um i've spoken about this already right um the overall direction of the market is creating this head and shoulders formation we've got the left shoulder head and the right shoulder um if you look at my previous videos i did talk about price coming up to this key level over here and rejecting and starting to go to the downside so i was already anticipating price was going to pull back down right around this area over here this wasn't even this this price action didn't even exist um so anyway so we knew that price was going to go down we just needed some sort of confirmation right so let me just move over to the move over to this chart it's a little bit cleaner it's the exact same thing um if we go down to the one hour so what 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 was i looking at on the four hour i knew that price was going to come roughly to this area over here and reject it most likely obviously price can do anything at any time and it could continue up if it wanted to right but we knew that most likely we were anticipating price to create the second shoulder right which again guys that doesn't mean that just because it's a forming a head and shoulder pattern it's 100 percent going down not necessarily um that just it's just it gives us a good indication of where price could be headed okay so this is the one hour again this is the one hour chart it represents each candle represents one hour of movement okay so i'm just going to zoom into this chart so you, that you guys can see a little bit more clear and we're going to start over here this is where the where the second shoulder was forming let's ignore this for now and let's take a look over here so what do we see we see price come up push up exhaust so it pulls back and then what does price do again so it creates a high a higher low a higher high a higher low and a higher high 
this in itself is an upwards trend, okay? Um, it's very clear. Um, obviously, price is never going to be perfect, but we could see that price is creating a nice upwards trend, right? Um, so typically what happens is um, when we see the upwards trend, we are looking for buys. And when we see a downward trend, we are looking for sells. When price is consolidating, we are waiting for a breakout, okay? Um, in this case, price did these higher highs, higher lows, higher high, higher low, higher high, but then price came and created another higher low and it tried to push back up. The bulls tried to push price higher and they failed, which means that in this case, the US dollar was too weak. And so the bears took over and pushed price down, right? So not only that, we failed to create another higher high, which means that this upwards trend is weakening. All right price is starting to get weak the the bulls are getting tired they're getting exhausted so now the bears are starting to get in here we can see that stronger pullback stronger momentum and price started to slowly coil up and create this pattern this is typically a pennant or a uh, triangle pattern which indicates to me if price does break down we can expect price to retest which it did came back up and retested and then typically, as always, when with these patterns, we expect price to come back down to the bottom or the beginning of the triangle, right? And which it did. Um, so when I saw that, I knew that at this point, we're on the one hour chart. Each movement represents one, each candle, sorry, represents one hour of movement in price. I knew, okay, the overall sentiment is changing now. Price is failing to break these highs. Price came here and tested it once twice and a third time so there was three times price rejected clearly price just wanted to continue breaking down and then all of a sudden we saw this huge rejection and uh sorry a downwards momentum and so this was a perfect setup guys as you can see look at this clean level that i've uh created here and i knew right away that price was going to come to this area here and reject this area over here and i was ready for price to wick this zone over here so now let's go back to my other chart and i'm going to show you exactly um how the trade ended up going so um yeah so you saw the strong momentum i was waiting and anticipating a pullback um and it did as as expected and i moved my stop loss to the to basically to these close to the highs over here over here um and so what did price do obviously it rejected and when i woke up in the morning around it was about 8 a.m 7 a.m i got in at the night time i knew price was gonna go down i could feel it we saw the strong momentum we saw that price was failing to break higher uh break higher and create higher highs and so we knew that the overall sentiment of the market was starting to shift and so this is clean market structure, guys. We can see that strong momentum. We can see price pulling back to this key level. Um, previous support, right? Previous support, okay, is now becoming resistance. So obviously I got into it because I knew that price was very well and most likely going to go down. I went to bed. I woke up at eight in the morning. 7 30 8 in the morning and this is what i saw a nice double top formation and i was already in profits around this area actually so price had already formed this double top um and so you know when we see these types of rejection guys in price that's just a confirmation that price is most likely going to continue to the downside and it did so i took my profits a little bit earlier around here um and i did it in my small account as you guys saw at the beginning of the video um, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys basic market structure, guys. It's very simple, right? It looks confusing, but it's very simple once you start understanding basic market structure and how um, price tends to move. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to comment below. Always like hearing from you guys. And uh, yeah, that was basically the USDJPY trade I took this morning. Um, I was able to profit in one of my smaller accounts, which was awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it as well, because it does support the channel. 
Really appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye for now.